Hello guys, welcome back to the video. Today we are reacting to monsters you didn't know were under your bed by the odd ones out. So it's one day after um, Halloween now. So it's November now. I mean, we're one month closer to December, which is going to be a fun month because it's going to be Christmas. And after that, it's going to be New Year. I mean, time t time goes fast. I mean, it's very, very fast. I mean, after this, it's December. And after December, it's already 2019. I mean, it, it flows very fast. But in 3, 2, 1, let's react. Boys and girls, come hear my greeting. I hope you don't plan on sleeping. Tonight, for while you are dreaming, evil awakes, unearthed and creeping. There's things that thump, things that bite, things that go bump in the night. What are these things you sit and ponder? Brace yourselves. We call them monsters. He probably came up with that poem for like one hour because he needed things to rhyme. See, that was a pretty good poem. I mean, the pops on that. I mean, and the life poem, the pops. I said poem like this. The pops are. But, yeah, it's a pretty good poem. Probably think of that for like one hour. Then he, yeah, okay. Scary what? Book. He's going to tell us about monsters, but they're not going to be that scary. Silence, you dirty apparition! Don't you see the danger you are in? For what I speak is 100% real. Don't believe me? Just ask my pet eel. This guy is nuts. What? I'm not an apparition. I'm a ghoul. The first monster we'll see today is something that, uh, likes on. to eat hay. Her oh. Okay, now that part he just gave up on that poem. Stay champ. Then they stamp, then... Okay, I can't speak in rhymes for the whole thing. I have a question for okay. you guys. Are you familiar with the term furry? What? Well, after doing research on these monsters, I don't think furry is a new concept. Furry? Humans, for whatever reason, have always been obsessed with personifying animals. And who can blame them? <laughs> Look how cute these guys are. Now, a lot of these monsters follow a similar pattern. So if you ever wanted to Frankenstein up a monster, all you have to do is take two already existing animals, one of them being preferably a human, and then you just gotta put them together. You all know about what? mermaids. One part sexy, yeah. the other half is just some lady. Well, do you know about this even scarier combination? It's called a hippo campus. Half hippo, half ha hog. A hampus? They say after four stressful years, he accumulates a hundred thousand dollars of debt, and no one in his field is hiring. <laughs> oh, I'm just messing with you guys. Okay, but for real, a hippocampus is a half yeah. fish, half horse. Oh, like the neopet. What? what? Yeah. What? Is a half fish, half, fish. half horse. A half fish, half horse. Oh, like the neopet. What? What? I'm just messing with you guys. Okay, but for real, a hippocampus is a half fish, a hippocampus. half horse. A hippocampus? What? Where's the fish part? The hippocampus, I mean the H, horse. But where does the fish come in? I mean, what? Oh, like the neopet. What? Yeah, uh, Fiopian. I went when I was like two. Use my Christmas paintbrush on it. You guys aren't scared of a literal seahorse? Well, how does it kill people? Like, like can it turn them into stone? Uh, no. But the Scandinavians have a version called the Kelpie that tricks humans into Kelpie. riding them, and then it drowns the humans. Probably should have started with that one. That's okay, I guess. All right, Edward. If a murderous horse doesn't put you on edge, then how about this? A monopod. Yeah, a that's monopod. right. It looks just like a regular person, what? but it only has one leg. Whoa, are you calling amputees monsters? No, oh. this amputee has one giant leg. And by the way, these guys date back all the way to 400 BC, way before the first amputee BC. ever existed. Also, despite them only having one leg, they're supposedly very fast, 
So imagine this guy Very aggressively fancy. chasing you at midnight. Yeah, I'm sure you'd piss your pants too. But what about I mean, this? I don't know how we're gonna be very fast. Probably very fast hopping because they can't walk, they just hop. So it's probably how they're very fast, just hopping. A blenny. Again, a looks like a regular person, but oh wait, where's its head? I don't see it anywhere. Oh, it's on its chest, what? like some kind of what? poke. What the heck? The face is on its chest? A blemmy? What? Come on. Come on, does this not terrify you? How would you give this guy a hug without suffocating him? My dad doesn't have a head. Also, he rides a horse, so this is all a pretty normal Tuesday for me. Alright, it's fine that you're not scared. Horse because man? I've been saving the bet. The, the person that has no head rides a horse. Is that called a horseman? I don't know, there's some thing that's riding a horse, it's a monster, I think it's a horseman. Best okay. monsters for last. Everyone, meet the Sir Popper. It has the body of a lion, yes. the head of a lion, but the neck of a snake. Ugh, it's so what? gross. Why would anything need that long of a neck? A snake? So it can talk to giraffes? Imagine if it could retract its neck, and then you just think it's a normal old lion and say, Hey, that's pretty scary, but at least it's 20 feet away from me. And then its head would just extend out of its body and then bite your head off. Speaking of snake-based creatures, what is the second most mischievous animal? Answer, the snake. Snakes represent Slytherin from Harry Potter, and those guys are always up to something. And snakes were responsible for the fall of man. But do you know what the number one most mischievous animal is? What? Answer, the fox. He's been in a ton of fables. He's a master hustler. So the fox and the snake are two of the most mischievous animals. But what if they had a baby together? Well, take a look at this monster from Chile called the... The... Uh, Wait, can I... You need some vowels there. I mean, you need some vowels between the N and G. You don't just... Do it like that. You need some. You need some vowels, okay? It needs more vowels. It's a nigguruvilu. It's a nigguruvilu. What? It's a nigguruvilu. 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 Yeah, it's a nigguruvilu. I mean, I can't really open my mouth because it's the vowels. The vowels. Come on. You need to add more vowels like that. Nigguruvilu. I mean, needs to be nagu. You need a, an A or an E or an O or a U or any vowel between that N and G. Oh, it's a Nuruvilu because of the NG. It's a Nuruvilu. Okay. The Jiruvulu. There we go. It's a half fox, half snake. And it has a claw for a tail, and it also creates whirlpools to drown people. Now this would be a really cool Great. monster if Whirlpool. it wasn't so terrifying. You know what? I got even more snake-based monsters to show you. Take a look at the Amphisbina. 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 That's it, right? It's a half snake, half snake, but the same half. It's a snake with two heads on both ends for double biting action. I think it'd be cool if there was a creature that was the snake's tail on both sides. Oh. That'd be so useless. Oh wait, that's just an oversized worm. How oh, would yeah. either one of them poop? Okay. Great question. I honestly don't know how a real snake poops. And the last snake-based monster I'm going to show you is called the Chelolita longicollis. That's its Latin name. Longicolis. Its real name is the snake neck turtle. It's a lot like the serpapard with its long neck, but instead a turtle. But I doubt you'll have to worry about these things. There's no way these abominations yeah. can be real. No, those are real. Huh? They're indigenous to Australia. I saw one at the zoo with my dad. <laughs> There's no way these things can be real. No, yeah. they're definitely real. But do you know what isn't real? All of us. None of us are real, James. Why do you think we all have the same voice? You're talking to yourself again. It's been three weeks since the accident. You need to snap out of it. Three weeks. What are you guys talking about? You're totally real. So, did I scare you? Huh? You guys... Scared? Hey, you! Knock it off in there. <gasps> <laughs>
thank you all for so yeah that's the video and thanks for watching and of course peace to all the people that have peace a peace